Hi, I'm Dala, and this is a long-awaited follow-up video to the one that I did a few months back regarding battery ID secrets. In this video, we will examine the official CAN commands that Nissan uses to pair in replacement batteries. Let's go! So a quick refresher. Say that you watched one of my YouTube videos and you got inspired to do a battery swap. Note that this pairing info is only really helpful if you are doing a direct swap, meaning same generation battery, for instance 24 to 24 kWh or 30 to 30 kWh. In case you're doing an upgrade, uh, you will need a CAN bridge or some sort of CAN translator. But yeah, direct swap. Upon completing it, you will then be met by the lovely fault code that is invalid battery ID. P3102. And you will have fault lights and along with the normal turtle mode etc. So here is how to fix this. So the first step is to figure out the battery ID of the new battery. This can be done with the latest version of LeafSpy Pro Beta. The beta version is only available on Android devices, so sorry Apple users. To get the beta, scroll down to the Google Store page and press the Apply to become beta tester button. With the beta version, go to the service menu and open ECU versions. Upon reading the versions, you will get a field that I've marked with red that contains your new battery ID. Write that down. Uh, then go to my GitHub page. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description and uh, download this Excel spreadsheet. It contains a script that can convert the ID into a CAN log that can be replayed to the car. Just enter the ID and hit the button. This log file can then be opened with CAN runner and replayed onto the CAN bus, the primary car CAN bus that is available on the OBD2 port with a suitable CAN transmitter. Bang! This clears the error code and you can continue driving the vehicle. But how does it work? Let's examine the messages. It is really simple. All the magic happens when you send these two commands. The first message contains some info about the length and the command that we want to perform. It also contains the first part of the new ID that we want. The vehicle then responds with a flow control message and you can then transmit the rest of the ID in a second message. That's it? I wish there was some more technical stuff I could show you, but that is really all. You are now able to perform battery registrations without purchasing apps or specific hardware or even visiting costly Nissan dealerships. As a final note, if this still seemed too complicated to pull off as a do-it-yourselfer, note that we are working on a native LeafSpy Pro integration. So maybe hold out for this one in case you don't feel comfortable enough hooking up a CAN sender to your OBD2 port. Massive thanks to Sergey Ivanov for supplying the commands and also to all my Patreon supporters. You guys rock. See you in the next video.